Having worked with a bunch of different regulators all around the world, my observation on blockchain regulation thus far is nobody's really quite gotten it right yet. It's a new paradigm, and a new paradigm often calls for a new set of rules. For blockchain projects, geography is really not a driving factor. And so in the past, we've seen startup hubs stay where startup hubs already were. So San Francisco, Boston as the two classic ones. But I think with blockchain companies, it's completely broken open where now you can build them anywhere. So the, the vision of this is really then to see how can we use blockchain really for transparency and using blockchain as a tool to solve the challenges that we see in the world. New Zealand has a unique opportunity there because it's a bit more nimble. It has a blank slate as it, as it relates to blockchain regulation at the moment. Why New Zealand then, of all the places? It's a great place that people actually want to live. Um, and I think a lot of blockchain developers want to be in New Zealand if they've visited here before. So it's an attractor for uh, those types of engineers. So whether you're a food tech entrepreneur that needs to work with government in a regulatory context, or whether you've uh, got a new uh, program that's going to improve education and you want to deliver it in a private setting but work with public funding to do so, you've got new opportunities to do things in a different way and to have a different and potentially much more efficient relationship with government uh, if you pay attention to how your industry is going to adopt blockchain technologies. The size of the people, or, or the number of people here, uh, gives New Zealand the flexibility to adopt this technology and take advantage of it in uh, ways uh, that a lot of uh, other countries that have a lot more uh, legacy and infrastructure that is difficult to change, um, that would give New Zealand a huge advantage. You can actually have a meeting where the people who are representing um, the social and economic interests of the, of the country are in the room simultaneously with the people who are designed to manage um, the financial risks of the country. On short notice, all these government officials from different departments came together because they wanted to learn from folks that were leading in the space uh, from Silicon Valley. So we spent an hour and a half together and we answered a bunch of their questions and, and gave them uh, some of what we've learned from Silicon Valley and in the hopes of positioning New Zealand as a global leader uh, among the blockchain wave that's coming. You know you can come here if you're well-intentioned, easily launch something, get the support you need to do it, and focus on building the thing. So if you're in Auckland or Wellington, there are, there's a blockchain association that has live um, seminars and things every um, month, and that's a good thing to go along to. And everyone's learning in this area, and that's the really cool thing. So I would say it's early, the technologies are still mature, but it's going to be incredibly uh, transformative such that things that didn't seem possible two years ago may seem inevitable two years from now.